GTA 6 fans are not happy with one of the co-founders of Rockstar Games, someone who definitely had a huge involvement in Grand Theft Auto 6, writing the story or just developing the ideas. They have actually done something that a lot of fans are not thrilled about, but we'll also be talking about possibly another opportunity for Rockstar to say something about GTA 6, and it's actually happening today when I'm recording this video. It is Tuesday, September 13th, and just the other day, PlayStation actually made an announcement that has some Rockstar and GTA 6 fans getting pretty anxious, and that is their Sony state of play. So like I said, it's going to be happening today at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, and just around 2400 hours CEST. Sony says with the Tokyo Game Show just around the corner, it's almost time to celebrate the amazing creative contributions of the Japanese game development community. And it's also the perfect time to kick off another State of Play. State of Play returns Tuesday, September 13th with a new live broadcast, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. You can watch it live on Twitch and YouTube. The show is going to have some great updates, not only from Sony's Japanese partner, along with a few surprises from developers all around the world. Expect about 20 minutes of reveals, new updates, and fresh gameplay footage for 10 games coming to PS5, PS4, and PSVR 2. So although I think there's a very small chance of something happening with Rockstar here, I am going to obviously be paying attention and I am going to be watching it with like that 1% of optimism that there could be some sort of announcement. Now, I think it would be unlikely that Rockstar would choose this sort of show to reveal GTA 6, but we can't put it past them. Not only do they currently have a partnership with Sony, but we've also seen them make big time announcements in the past at Sony's events and press conferences. Think of GTA 5 for the PS4 and the Xbox One, and then think of GTA 5 for the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Both of those announcements were made at Sony's events. So it's not impossible. I do think it's unlikely here, but a lot of GTA 6 fans are holding their breath as this could possibly be the next opportunity that Rockstar could make some sort of big announcement. Now, on a completely separate note, this is just my speculation here before we dive into something else, I can actually see Rockstar doing another GTA 6 mention very, very soon. Kind of like what they did back in February, saying that the next installment of the GTA series is underway. Then what they did in July, where they basically said, sorry, Red Dead Redemption 2 and sorry, Red Dead Online. We're basically putting all of our resources into GTA 6. Basically, as things have currently stood, Rockstar talk about GTA 6 when they also have something else to talk about. And one thing that I believe they could be talking about soon is PC version of GTA 5 getting all the content that the console stuff has, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, because earlier today, they ended up making an update that essentially makes it possible for the PC version to receive all the content that the consoles have. So I'm just thinking to myself here, Rockstar could make that announcement, and then at the very end, they could mention GTA 6 again. That's just my own speculation on this thing, but they do tend to mention Grand Theft Auto 6 when they are talking about other stuff. Just something to think about there. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this video today is the co-founder of Rockstar Games, Dan Hauser, did something that fans aren't really excited about. He's actually invested in a blockchain game studio and actually joins their board of directors. So this guy's gone from GTA to NFTs. And I'll be the first to admit, I know Zipola about NFTs and Zipola about blockchains. But what I do know, fairly controversial. You either love them or you hate them. And they've been trying to creep their way into video games over the, the last year or so. And it's really been over two years since co-founder of Rockstar Games and the writer of GTA 5, among many other games, and very likely had a huge role in GTA 6. I mean, he just left two years ago. Obviously, GTA 6 was in development long before then. So he's going to have a big role in that, will definitely be credited. Dan Hauser left Rockstar and this took the Rockstar Games community by surprise. But since then, we don't know what he's been doing up until now. We do know what his new venture is and that he has joined Revolving Games as an advisor 
plus invested money into the company. They raised around $13.2 million, according to an interview that they did with GamesBeat. And if you're wondering who Revolving Games are, because I had no idea who they were anyways, they were founded in 2019 as a mobile game studio, but now they are turning to a blockchain technology for their games. And the team is currently working on a strategy game set in the Battlestar Galactica universe, which incorporates the blockchain. There's also a second game in development that is titled Skyborne Legacy, and this is said to be an RPG with social elements and is also running on a blockchain network. Now, according to the interview with Games Beat with Revolving Games lead Syed Zahim, he said that he met with Dan Hauser a few years ago and they started exploring ideas together, but they wound up doing different kind of work. So Dan Hauser became an advisor and an investor instead. And he says Dan is a legend in the industry. So it's just interesting to see sort of the old Rockstar Games team, what they've gone out and done. We now know what Dan Hauser has done. We've obviously seen what Leslie Benzies has done with his new game everywhere that was revealed just a couple of weeks ago and how he's also sort of dipped his toe into the blockchain thing. It's kind of not what I expected the ex Rockstar Games guys to do. I figured they would go about doing something just as big as Rockstar, but this really hasn't made fans happy. A lot of the reaction has been like, you left Rockstar to do this. You created some of the best games of all time, and now you want to work with NFTs. So that has them very frustrated. But once again, have no fear, GTA 6 fans. Even with Dan Hauser gone, I don't think like all of a sudden GTA 6 is just going to plummet. It, it's not like they don't have talented people still left on the team. They're going to nail this thing. It's going to be incredible. But this announcement has GTA 6 fans definitely scratching their head as they kind of just like don't know why he decided to leave and then he left for this. It just seems a little bit strange. That's for sure. But as always, I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think on everything we discussed in this video today. Do you think there's a chance that Grand Theft Auto 6 could make an appearance at the Sony State of Play? What do you think of Dan Hauser ultimately leaving and working on some blockchain stuff? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.